Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to do a water marble design on your nails. It doesn't really require any artistic ability, it just requires some prep work. And speaking of prep work, I've already done mine. You can see that I have a coating on my skin here. This is to protect my skin from the paint. What I've done was first I painted my nails white, which you should always do before doing a water marble because it makes the colors show up much better and they are so bright, they really pop that way. Then I took a small brush and some Elmer's glue, but you can also use um, Simply Peel, it's specially for this type of thing, but Elmer's glue is probably going to be cheaper overall. I put a little bit of glue on the tip of this brush, and then I went around my cuticles here, and you, you might have to you know get a little more glue on it here and there, but go around your cuticles and make sure you totally cover your cuticles with the glue. After that, you just put glue around here and around here, and then you smear it all over your whole fingertip, all the way to the second knuckle. And because this hand will be wet with glue, the way you do the second hand is, I just place it on the edge of a table, and I use this hand to sort of squeeze the glue bottle, and then I'll put it on my fingers and around here, and then I'll just smear it around like I did the other hand. You let it dry for about 15 minutes or so. Waving your hands around really helps. If you don't have Simply Peel or glue, you could just use tape. And I'll do a demonstration since it's all going to get peeled off anyway. You take one strip of tape, put it around the side of your nail, as close to the cuticle as possible, wrap it around the back, and put it on the other side, again, as close to the cuticle as possible. The second piece of tape, again, Apply it as close to the cuticle as possible, wrap it all the way around, and then just go ahead and secure both of these in the back, like this. When you're done doing your water marble, peel all your tape off, and if there's any polish on your cuticles, just dip this brush in a little bit of nail polish remover and clean up your cuticles. And that's it. Simple. So at this point, you're going to choose your colors. Um, I strongly suggest not using more than two to three different colors especially not if it's your first try. I've seen people use more, but it makes it more complicated. So two to three colors. You could do amazing designs with just two, honestly. Biggest tip for color, pair a light color with a dark color. If you do two light colors or two dark colors, your design is going to be barely visible. But I have decided to go with pink as my light color and purple as my dark color. You can see they would kind of look good together. So at this point you just get all of your tools ready because you're going to need them all close by. The tools you will need are a stick of some kind, then preferably pointy. You can use a toothpick, an orange stick, some q-tips or earbuds, whatever you like to call them, a cotton pad which you will soak with nail polish remover, the nail polishes that you've chosen, and a container of room temperature filtered water. And it does need to be room temperature. Don't do cold and don't do hot because that really messes up your results. When you're ready to start doing your water marble, you should take your polishes and loosen the caps and make sure that they're ready to go. You could just grab them and use them. Working quickly really, really counts. You've got your polishes ready, nice and loose, your water. Let's get started. Leave a generous drop of polish on your brush and drop it over the water like this. Make sure you're close to the water when you do it because if you're too far back it could just sink to the bottom and not work. Now you take your pink polish and do the same and it's going to start creating a little bullseye so work quickly here. You'll find that the dark polish spreads slower than the light polish and the light polish will actually help spread out the dark polish which is another reason to pair light with dark. Now you're going to make your design. You can do any design you want, but less is more. Try not to, uh, I go maybe the last line out. Don't go all the way out to the end because that dries quick. Um, I like to just drag it towards the middle and wipe the stick off on the cotton pad after every drag. 
but just make a simple design. I'll go the other way. And I'll go this way. Just whatever design you think looks cool. And once you got a design that you're happy with, uh, if you don't like it, then just blow on it to dry it off, scoop it up with a cotton bud, get rid of it, and do it again. If you don't like it, don't put it on your nail. Um, once you find the one you like, find an area of the pattern that you like best, and you're going to dip your nail down in it with your nail facing down. Hold your nail under the water. Do not touch the bottom of the container. You'll mess up your design. But while that's under the water, blow on the top of the paint to make it dry. And then take your cotton bud and scoop up the other, the excess paint. If you don't get rid of the excess paint before you pull your nail out, then when you pull your nail out, you're going to mess up your design because the extra paint is going to flop over your nice, beautiful design and totally ruin it. And there you go. There is a beautiful design on my nail. So pretty. So you repeat with all ten nails and I'll meet you back when I've got that done. So once your nails are done, they're going to look a little messy because you've got paint all over them. But you can see the designs that came off are really cute. And you, I mean, it doesn't look like much now, but when you peel this stuff off, it'll look a lot better. So if you're doing the tape, um, you just peel the tape like this, get it off the sides, it should come right off. And I had glue under there, so I'm going to peel the glue off too. But, um, yeah, it's a really cute design. But uh, in the case of the glue, you would just grab the glue and start peeling. And you can see how the glue will come off. Like this. Now if there's a... Uh, I put a pretty thick coating of glue because it just works better that way. So just peeling off the mess, like so. There might be a few little bits here and there. You could just rub those off mostly because glue will rub off. Well, Elmer's glue anyway. But, um, yeah, once I get it peeled better, it'll look a lot better. So I'm going to clean this up and meet you back here. All right, and this is the finished look. So the pink and purple combo really makes a beautiful design. And the white in the background really help that pink pop and stand out. Um, again, you can see why it's better to use light with dark. Uh, the difference in the contrast, the design is more noticeable. So after this, you just apply a fast drying top coat and you're all done. Here's the other hand. Um, these designs came out really pretty. I love the way this turned out. Um, I hope you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, comment, thank you for watching, and have a great day.